What's one thing that I like about mountain goats? Yeah. Oh my gosh. There are a lot of things I like about mountain goats, but I think one of the coolest things I love about mountain goats is to watch them go up the cliff faces and the really rugged terrain and how agile they are. And they just, just elegant as they move up and down these mountains. This area is, you know, heavily used by people. This is the highest paved road in North America. And we have people from all over the world coming here to look at sheep and our mountain goats from all over the world, which is really cool. And what a great place to be able to see these majestic animals. One of the things to keep in mind is when we're coming up here, we're coming into their habitat. It's easier for us to change our behavior than the animals to change their behavior. So when we're up here, we're taking pictures, we see these animals, we wanna use what we call the rule of thumb. If I put my thumb out and I'm, I look through one eye and I'm looking at my thumb and my thumb covers the animal, that's a safe distance. That's about 70 to 75 feet away. Now, if I do that again and the animal is not covered by my thumb, I'm way too close to that animal. When you guys go up the top of Mount Emmons, it's just really cool. There's the bathrooms there. There's not a lot of room there. So we have goats and people. And what we ask is that people stay at least 25 to 30 feet back. Up there at the bathrooms, it's hard to be 70 feet away because it's such a small area, but we can be 30 feet away. And if we're up there and the goats are approaching us, walking towards us, we want to walk back. We want to give them that room so we can actually be far enough away to be safe. And the thing to think about is we want our animals, the goats and the sheep up here, to be wild. A lot of the photographers have the big lenses, which is awesome, and they can get great shots. If you're with your cell phone, we don't want people with their cell phones to go up and get really close to the animals or you know do that selfie with the mountain goat because what's going to happen is is you put yourself in risk of being injured and believe it or not the 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 tip of the goat horn it looks like it's not sharp but it'll go right through you and they do what they call a hooking behavior where they go like this they move their head like this and they kind of hook and when they're doing that and you're close to them that's kind of indicating to you that you need to get away. They're telling you, you need to be away from me. But just know that those, those horns will go right through you. So when you're driving up here, you're gonna see, we've been getting comments and questions about why when I come up here, I see the mountain goats and I see some of them have paint on them. The reason they have paint on them is because we have, we've had a disease outbreak up here. Um, it started in 2013 and it sporadically happened between that and then it happened again in 2019. And basically what happens is, is it affects the kids and the kids get severe diarrhea. And after they get the diarrhea, they don't make it, they, they die. So we've lost almost an entire age class of kids several times. We don't know what's causing this. So right now we're collecting some baseline information. So we're marking these goats with paint and the, the paintballs that we hit them with don't hurt the goats. They don't even flinch. They may look at us and then they just kind of walk away and do their own thing. But we individually mark each animal that we're tracking and we want to track these animals over time. So the hope is, is to get some baseline information of what their, um, the feces contains, the, you know, the bacteria, the viruses, if there's parasites, to kind of get a baseline of what's going on. And as or if the diarrhea outbreak happens again, we'll have that baseline information that we can compare to. So right now we're collecting samples from July all the way through October and each animal's uniquely marked and we follow them through time. Preliminarily, what, one of the things that we've seen that's really interesting, we've seen high loads of E. coli. We don't know if that's the cause of the severe diarrhea, so we don't know yet, but it is kind of interesting to us that we're seeing these high loads of E. coli. So one of the things that we see when we're out looking for the mountain goats, when we're walking around out here in the, the Alpine, is we'll come across places where people have gone to the bathroom. So we have toilet paper, we have human feces all over the place, um, what happens is, is when people poop, the goats and other animals will come and eat that feces. We would ask that, you know, we, when we're up here or anywhere, 
we leave, we leave no trace of it. So that leave no trace ethos. So if I'm up here, I'm gonna take my toilet paper, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna carry it out with me. The same thing with the human waste. You can either bury it or you can take it out with you. Up here in the Alpine, we would prefer that you actually take it out with you because there's not a lot of organic material in the soil. So we can bury our feces here, but it takes a long time to break it down. When we're down below tree line and there's that organic material in there, the feces actually breaks down a lot quicker than it does up here. The other thing that we're seeing now more and more of is we're seeing the dog bags, the green dog bags. Everybody carries when their dog goes to the bathroom, they put it in the bag and they tie it up and they leave it on the trail or leave it out here thinking that they're going to come by and get it on their way out. Well, what we're all saying is that doesn't happen very often. So the same thing, I would get a Ziploc bag, put the green bag in there, zip it up, put it in a, you know, a stuff sack, throw it in your pack and take it out with you. That's the best way. That's one of the biggest things that we can do to help this area that's being so heavily impacted by people. The other thing that we see up here too is people with their dogs. It's great that you can have dogs up here. We want to keep our dogs on a leash from chasing the wildlife and we have the um, retractable leashes and we've seen this a lot where the people will be walking they let their dogs go on the retractable leash and they'll go right up to the goats. We don't want that. One, it puts your pet in danger and it also puts the goat in danger. So keep those dogs close to you when you have wildlife around.